What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Check us out, man. Today, we are going boat shopping. I mean, get out of here. We're also kind of loading up some tackle. I'm gonna grab some rods here in just a second. Uh, I already loaded up the bow. We might go do some, uh, might go have some fun today. Cameras, GoPros, airplanes. It's a beautiful day, man. Speaking of, it's Tuesday, May 5th, 12.30 in the afternoon. And, so let me sit inside the truck so lighting is even. We're probably also gonna stop by Shields to look at some uh, electronics and trolling motor options for this boat that we've been eyeballing. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil what we're looking at. We're thinking about the and uh, we'll tell you a lot more as the day progresses. We're gonna go talk to a couple dealers. We're also going to stop at Shields, check that place out, it looks so sick. <laughs> check out the tackle selection and just, uh, yeah, have a fun day. So come along with us, man. We gotta put the dogs up. Escape artist. All right, Gino. We'll see you in a little bit. For all our newer subscribers, real quick, let's just give you a quick little little update. We got Jesse over here, our ball python, and this is the king. He's uh he's just chilling today. And then over here we have our spotted python, and she is just hanging out. Anyways, let's go boat shopping. I don't know what we might get into later. Quick pit stop. Devin and I found some small neighborhood waters. We're gonna cast a line in here real fast. Go ahead. And I've got a Senko. Huh? We've got two T-Rigs set up here. She's going Bandito Bug. I'm gonna throw the Lunker Log. See if there ain't nothing in these little canals. You want left or right? Yeah, this is where the drop shot needs to get thrown. Ned Rig and drop shot. This is a small little thing. I don't know if there's many fish in here. Probably some little bluegill, but I don't know if we'll find any bass. Throw the bandito bug in there. So he's taking it and squeeze Well, those small waters behind the houses were kind of a bust, but there's a little creek back here. We just want to throw a little sank on bandito bug in, a drop shot, but. No. Oh, there might be something back here. <laughs> I walked right over a snake. I like almost stepped on his face. I freaked out. I don't know. He's all black. Do we make a wrong turn or is it? Oh, there's a snake right there. Big old black and yellow sucker. <gasps> no way. <gasps> what is he? It's a king snake. Yeah, that, that was sweet, was huh? So he was decent size. He was bigger than that last one. Give this place a couple casts. Check this out, guys. First cast in the old creekaroo. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Bring the kayaks down here. There goes that snake. He's on the run. The bandito bug looks good in here, though. That thing would get munched. I think we're off to boat shop, y'all. <laughs> we just wanted to stop by this little creek and hit those channels, and that was that. Uh, we kind of forgot today's Cinco de Mayo, despite the fact that I said it was the 5th of May in the intro to this thing. So <laughs> we're actually... <laughs> We're gonna grab a margarita. Yeah. We're picking up Devin's dad, and I think we're gonna go get a little margarita before we hit Shields and the uh, boat store. Man, lunch was killer. We have pulled up to Shields, dudes largest sporting goods store. Let's see what's up. Whoa, wait a minute. I think this place's grand opening was just the other day. This is like the freaking aquarium in here. Look, we got Nemo. Hey, what's her name? Dory. Dory's in here. This is crazy. Guys, somebody who knows, how much money is this? How much does this tank cost? That's, all right, we gotta make it to the fishing section. <laughs> this is crazy. Apparently fishing is a quarter mile walk up here. been like 25 minutes I still haven't found the fishing section Ooh. 
insane, dudes. I do not know how we didn't end up spending any money in this place, but we got to look at the motor and the electronic units we want to take a look at for the boat. So we got that done. Let's get over to the shop. Woo, quick stop at Starbucks. And we are now at Cabela's, man. One of the few Ranger dealers in the area. And uh, I don't think they got what we're looking for, but it's gonna have to be something we wanna put on order, I think, because we, we want a specific setup, pretty much bare bones, add the electronics afterwards, unless they can get us exactly what we want. So we're just gonna go have a little chit chat with uh, whoever's on deck in here. Where'd she go? There she is. <laughs> All right, see you inside. All right, guys, check this thing out. This is almost exactly what we want. This is the RT-188. We're looking at the RT-188P, though. A couple differences. Caleb is helping us out over here at Cabela's Allen, being so helpful, man. We've already been chatting it up with him for about half an hour and uh, really just giving these things the rundown. We like this white color. We would prefer a single console, though. We'd like just one console, more space for just rods, deck, I mean, uh, backpacks, tack, anything. Anything and everything, a little bit more space. Uh, as far as the electronics go, we were kind of looking for something bare bones because we want to do some Garmin units, Garmin Force trolling motor. We'd like to get the live scope set up on the front. Not as concerned about the electronics on the main console here. So whatever it comes with, we'd probably be all right with if we could get another Garmin and that way it links up with the front. You guys drop down how much more difficult it would be to maybe run like a Hummingbird right here as opposed to like just another Garmin unit right here. The thing is these boats are gonna come standard with a lot of options already, and we can't just uh, get the boat we want fully custom ordered, bare bones, and only put our Garmin units on it uh, without waiting like probably three months it sounds like. So with that being said, we're gonna try and see, Caleb's gonna try and see if there's some in the area, meaning basically the Fort Worth or I think Oklahoma City stores, and uh, that have essentially a bare bones or like a smaller trolling motor and a couple other options that we would basically we'd be getting those parts taking them off the boat putting on what we want and we would have to resell those parts uh, in order to get the boat a little bit faster. Hopefully that makes sense. We're also really liking the idea of the coin box right here, which has kind of got like the cup holders, extra storage space right there, a couple USBs. This one's got this seat, which is also kind of folds down to a step. Don't necessarily care for that as much. And uh, what else, man? Live well is huge. Plenty of rod storage. I believe the 188P holds up to eight foot rods. Check this thing out. I'm walking you through this thing as if like we already bought it, but <laughs> we're not we're not quite there yet. And then also on the 188P, which is the not this model. There's also like this is two sections on the uh, on the P. Essentially, there's like a cooler right here, which is awesome because then we wouldn't have to bring a standalone cooler just to take up space on the deck and flop all over the place. We could just drop some ice in there, toss in some cold ones, be good to go, man. And really, that's it. This is, the white would go good with the Tundra. Uh, We're really digging this boat. Almost everything is flawless and perfect, dude. So be looking forward to something like this in the future. We are uh, pretty set, pretty set on this bad boy right here. But we want that RT-188P, which essentially I guess is just a padded hull. A little bit different, newer for 2020. We've been told probably grab that Pro XS motor, 115 horsepower. Uh, yeah, I mean, it'll be our first boat. We will be super psyched. So if we can get one of these located in the area, you guys are gonna be seeing it on the channel, I would say sometime soon, man. Pretty amped up about it. Drop down what you think in the comments. And uh, yeah, we're about to wrap things up over here. Probably help them cover this bad boy back up. See you in a second. All right, man, we're heading out of here. What a day, dudes. We literally started out trying to go fish a little creek. <laughs> Took off, man, hit Cinco de Mayo lunch. Came over here, chatted up with Caleb for a while. We are uh, just taking a look at this little RT-178C, you know, window shopping on the way out. Uh, the single console makes it look so much bigger. Yeah, the, the single console, we're digging for sure. Yeah, man, we're pretty amped. We just told him, you know, go ahead and check the area for any other 188Ps and then also, you know, possibly a 198P. Uh, I think we don't necessarily need that, but if, if that's the only thing that's available, we are open. Don't know what else is on the agenda today, but we will keep you posted, y'all, because we got uh, more daylight, so we'll see what's up. We might go fishing. Watching a little bit of John B's live from here on Amistad. Oh god, he's smoking him. He's smoking him. First one I've seen him miss. Holy that was a big fish. Oh, big fish. Happens to the best of us, my man. Let's go ahead and uh, maybe get to some fishing. We're kind of trying to see if this is if this is a thing out here, but that was a quick swing and a miss, guys. We tried to get to this one pond off-road, but it's not really accessible, so we're just gonna hit something a little bit more easy to Access. Let's go. Let's go. Quick pit stop. Had to come let the puppies out. Marshmallow, how are you? Zeke, how are you? 
Otis, let's go. Gina, wipe your paws. Okay, guys, big sunset plans. We're gonna meet up with Adele and Wyatt over at a uh, little little urban spot. Y'all have seen us fish plenty of times. I'm gonna close these blinds. It's about to be dark out by the time we get back, at least. So, uh, yeah, we got all the goodies, put the dogs up. I might grab an extra rod. Go ahead and load up, head out of here. We locked this because the cat's freaking max, man. He just like darts over here and he pushes this door open. And you can tighten them up, but anyways, we installed a little homemade lock on this thing. Let's go fishing. Sunset bite could be hot tonight. If y'all are going over here, I'll hit the rocks with you because sometimes that's on fire. What's up? Hey. How are y'all? Good. Dude, craw. Right here, jig and craw. I've caught some some fish right here. What's in here? Uh, we're going for bass. Really? I'm sure I'm sure there's some other goodies, but yeah. <laughs> Where they come in from? Spring from? You know, I'm not sure. I don't know. They just bass are in a lot of these ponds around here. I was about to say, man, you got them. First cast over here on the crawl, man. I told you. All right, that'll do. Oh, oh how are you gonna how are you gonna let him jump off the hook like that? <laughs> oh, hey. Oh no. Could have been a bluegill. It was one of those do do do. When it's on in here, it's usually just a quick, like it doesn't last long. I bet a black and blue chatterbait would get them real quick. Yeah. Yeah, like a black and blue Sanko. Threw the citizen around for a minute, guys. The bite seems to be a little tricky tonight. I'm just gonna start throwing the frog now that the sun's getting low. Got a lot of grass right here. Spooked one that was kind of shallow. Let me just see what happens here. Oh, did you see that? Did you see me get a little blow up? See me get a little blow up? I don't know if that was bass. I don't know if that was a bass or if that was like a little bluegill. I'm about to get me something. Yeah, walk the dog, walk the dog. <laughs> Slow moving worms over here, right, dude? Nice. Adele with the first land. There you go. Come That's it. Guy. Young bug. Yeah. Getting them. You're going to release them? No, he's going to release them. You want to release them, bug? Let's see. All right. Show, show us how you're reviving them. Hang on so tight, okay? Yeah, I'll watch. Oh, oh goodness. He knew exactly what he was doing. You scared me. <laughs> <laughs> I just sprayed a little bit of water. That's what's up. You scared me. You scared me a little bit. Uh, I saw you. <laughs> yeah. He was ready to go, huh? <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I'll throw this for just a second and then I'll throw that. Oh, just had a big hit on the citizen. Creeping it. Just had a hit on the citizen. Creeping it. No, a doo doo. Yep. I think it's one of those nights I'm gonna have to go down to the drop shot. Yeah, that's perfect. And after a while. Oh, these are the larger dragon drops. All right. Only throwing these a handful of times. I'm just gonna let this thing sit, dude. These bass are chilling tonight. Yo! We got them! <laughs> the sunset bug. The sunset bug. <laughs> That's how you end a day of boat shopping right there. Look at this little guy. Put him right up to the GoPro. He almost looks like a pounder. Oh, big boy. All right, man. Only fish of the day so far for me. You have fun down there. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, man. We had a ton of fun today. What a blast. It was actually yesterday. Today's the sixth I got done with the edit, and guess what? We found the boat that is close to perfect out in Little Rock, Arkansas, man. So wish us luck on getting this thing. It is a 188P. It is white. We're going to get a lot more details on it tomorrow. Things are looking good, but you know, there could be a couple things that we don't care for. It is a single console though. There's uh, a couple things that we're looking to make sure it has or does not have. And then we will get back with you guys. Drop down in the comments what you think about that sucker because we're very pumped on possibly making that the first big boat for this channel. We still kind of want to get a John boat. We got the kayaks now. I know you guys are digging the content because I hear a lot of the comments from you guys which we appreciate so much and always try and get back to i also want to give a big shout out to all the new subscribers because they've been flooding in and we appreciate each and every single one of you for watching these videos but with that being said uh yeah might pick up this one out in little rock the gentleman helping us out said they could actually send that one in little rock to texarkana for pickup so that's like not even that far away so instead of waiting 90 days we could literally have this thing like in the next few days big potentially right there like like potentially so wish us luck man we'll catch you guys on the next video probably tomorrow one upload a day bye <gasps>